This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. OpenBSD by default doesn't have support for MTP, so you cannot just simply connect your Android devices to OpenBSD and expect to be detected. Additionally, there is no GVFS MTP support, so you cannot have your MTP or your Android device browsable through a graphical user interface file explorer such as PCMan FM, Dolphin and so on. The only available utility for the MTP is simple MTPFS and this one is a command line utility that assists you to mount or to access your Android device by implementing views. So as a normal user, you can simply create files, you can transfer files or manipulate anything in your Android device. So let's actually go through an example together. So I'm going to open the X console and afterwards I'm going to connect my phone to the computer. So by default, the USB will be used for transferring files slash Android Auto. The next step is to install simple MTPFS. So do as pkg add simple MTPFS. Now we can actually get the list of the MTP devices. So do as simple MTPFS-L. And as you can see, it has detected my phone, Samsung Galaxy. So to mount it, we can just run do as simple mtpfs dash dash device one, give the mounting point. So the device number is one and the mounting point would be a slash mnt. And we want actually a normal user to be able to access to the device and manipulate the storage as they wish. So allo underscore other and this one it asks for a permission here so it fails now so i have to run it again and now it has mounted so if i do mount you can see it, the operating system has detected as fuse fs so if i go to a slash mnt we do ls internal storage here and i can simply make a directory let's say xyz and I can, as a normal user, delete that directory as well. To unmount it, just do as unmount slash mnt. That should be sufficient. A simpler syntax to mount in case that you have only one device connected is do as simple mtpfs. You can just directly pass the mounting point without specifying the device number. And this is simpler, so allow other. So this one is easier to remember and memorize. So if I go here, and if I go to the slash mnt now, I should be able to see the device here. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would like to take a moment to thank Patreon contributors Grog with 30 generous dollar, Stellar Orbit with 20 generous dollar, OpenBSD Maximalist, Alexander M, Hogarth Hackscock, Monty, Russell Willis, OpenBSD Enthusiast, DM, John Collins, Liquid Mobius, and OpenBSD Curious, Sigter.